I thought it'd be like one little cute note. I had no idea it was gonna turn into any of this. What? Look, the popcorn thing. I was going through a pretty rough time in, in March and April and found myself going for late night walks because lockdown had started and I couldn't sleep anyway. At the end of my street one night, um, just there was something sparkly that caught my eye. I was like, man, you know, what if I left a note pretending to be the fairy that came to live in the tree because she had set all of that up, like a result of her hard work and dedication. I immediately went home and wrote her a note and put it in the fairy garden. To my surprise, the next day there was a response back. I pretty much broke down in tears immediately because of how precious it was. I didn't really think anything would come after that. And then she left me a thank you note. Then I left a note to her parents. Her mom and I kind of started chatting back and forth. She said, you know, Eliana's is loving this. I'd wake up in the middle of the night like, oh, I should do this, or I should leave her this, or I should tell her this. And I just realized like, wow, this is doing so much for me to have this connection. And I haven't been able to see my family. And like, suddenly I, I realized that I had this new family and this new person in my life. We got to have this just magical time together, finally getting to meet after all of these months. As soon as we started talking, we just immediately hit it off. With zero expectation, it has now completely transformed my life and made me realize that even the smallest things that you do for someone can completely change your life. I really hope that it becomes a part of her that she's able to end up giving back and become a fairy for someone else. Even when she realizes I'm not technically a fairy, there's still this person that loves her and wanted to leave some magic for her and I'm gonna I'm gonna be around reach out either to a child or to someone else who might be alone this holiday season. And I think that's all kind of what we need right now. Everyone needs magic, like adults too.